Hey guys, good evening. This is Dave with Moneyology.com. Today is Thursday, August 3rd. Hope everyone is having a great day. We're going to have a biotech review today where we go through using weekly charts. We go through some of the hottest names in the biotech sector, either names that are in the middle of uptrends or those that are beginning uptrends. Uh, weekly charts serve the best purpose from our perspective to identify these trends and to remove all the short-term noise. So let's take a look. But before we do so, just a reminder, this these charts are for educational and entertainment purposes only. This is your money. Make sure you do your due diligence in all these companies and make sure you do not make your investment decisions solely based on these videos. Let's take a look at some of the names we're looking at. Okay, so first on this list is Myriad Genetics. This is one that we touched on several weeks ago when it was around 22 and it rode all the way to 27 here, uh, touching that 200, closely touching that 200 weekly EMA at 2783. It's pulled back quite a bit. It's retested the breakout point around that 23 area and now it's starting to rally again. This is a really good chart because it it's a great company that... Uh, it's built a very nice base and it's built a stair step move higher and so if you're looking for a name that's not necessarily as risky as some of the some of the lower lower price names this one might be uh should be high in your list look at this momentum stair step momentum that is built over time on the rsi uh, now it's finding support around the 60 on this up uh, uptrend line and we believe that its ultimate target in this move will be 30 dollars a share so great opportunity uh with mygn next on this list is nant k west nk this is this is interesting. We called this move up here once it broke out of this downtrend. Uh, no surprise that it had a really nice rally from about five dollars to almost nine dollars a share. Now it's circled back and it's retested that breakout point at that five dollars area. No surprise there again. Very often after a big breakout, you get you get these weak hands trying to trade this, and then they exit at the earliest point of weakness for a sign of weakness. And now we. Are at that 50 on the weekly RSI. Tomorrow's close will be interesting. You want to see this close above 50 to maintain that momentum. It's very possible that it goes all the way down to this this next line of RSI support around uh, 38 level and possibly retest this uptrend line, uh, downtrend line that it broke out of. I would say around three to four dollars. So uh, good good risk reward entry here. If it breaks below 486 here. You or five dollars, you get out of it, forget about it until it shows renewed strength. But while it's above this middle Bollinger Band at 486, for us this is a good risk reward entry point uh, for those who don't already own this particular position. Next on the list is Neuro Neurometrics, and uh, this one is interesting as a bottom fishing play. We typically like names that are uh, have have shown a lot of RSI strength on the weekly. This one has not, so that's that's one thing to consider. But it's been in this nasty downtrend, and it's and it's possible that if this downtrend breaks to the upside, uh, frankly, at around 250 would be our trigger point. There could be a very nice run towards that five dollars uh, mark. So one to keep an eye out on. I wouldn't touch it yet. But unless you're a short-term trader, from a from a long-term perspective, it's interesting, but not yet one where we would uh, invest our money. Next on the list is Northwest Biotherapeutics, NWBO. This one we like a lot. Uh, we don't know anything about the fundamentals, as with most of, most of these companies that we just look at uh, on their charts. Now, before we buy a lot of these companies, we do do our due diligence. But when looking at charts, we like to avoid any any emotional biases that uh, doing research might might give us. So look at look at this downtrend since middle of 2015. It finally broke out to the upside, and now it retested so far successfully. And we believe that once it breaks that 25 25 area of resistance, uh, which will also likely coincide with a break above the 50 on the weekly RSI. We think that this is going to make a run towards 50 cents a share, possibly as high as a dollar. So there's a lot of upside here. Don't know what's going on that's causing this upside, but certainly uh, it's it's starting to pick up. It's starting to get a, gather some accumulation over here. The cash 
cash flow, cash money flow is moving into a positive direction. MACDs are firmly above zero. And again, it's broken out of its downtrend, retested so far successfully on lower volume. So again, very interesting chart pattern on NWBO. Novavax, NVAX. This is one that we rode from about uh, two, rather 115 all the way to about 175 and we got out. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, frankly, this this drop surprised us considerably and we were very lucky to get out of it. Now it's starting consolidating right below that $1 mark. Now I would like to see it above this middle Bollinger Band at 105, but what I would say is that it, it in met resistance around this 50 on the weekly RSI. Now if we find support here at around that 40 level, uh, which would coincide with where it broke out from over here, uh, back in the middle of 2016, around 40, uh, it may just begin to rally higher. So something to keep an eye out for. I'm not suggesting to, to add this name at this point, but if it does showing so, uh, show some strength, this would be why, because it's finding support around that $1 area and around the 40 level on the RSI. You want to see it break above 50 before initiating a long-term view on this particular company. Ocera Therapeutics, OCRX, another one of those where it's been in a massive downtrend since 2014. Now the MACDs have broken above zero and now they're rolling over, but very often that's what happens on the first time MACDs cross zero. They roll over and only, you know, if you're along, hopefully only to move higher, uh, depending on whether it's able to find support. Now what I see here is that it's it, it, it made an attempt to uh, to break this downtrend and it's so far met some resistance around that 130 area. but. What I like about it is RSI has found support on a previous breakout. And so if this support holds around that 40 area, I think it's going to make a run towards that 50 area once again. And I think that based on various different metrics, I think it might break it. Uh, it depends on your strategy. You want to you want a bottom pick here with a, with a stop loss? Go right ahead. If you want to wait to see this uh, trend line breakout before you get in, that's another way to another way to play it. So many ways you can play these multiple time frames. Our objective is just to show you what's available, what's trending. Next on the list is Oncogenics Pharmaceuticals, OGXI. This one is interesting because it's just like many other names. It's had this downtrend from 2014. MACDs are firmly across zero. And uh, it, what we like is that it tested that 50 RSI. Now it couldn't hold it which which is no surprise but it's it's very likely going to find support around the 40 level so while there's a little bit more downside potentially ahead um, so long as it's above that 39 which is the middle Bollinger Band on the weekly uh, and, and consolidates there for a little bit we think that ultimately this this can break this downtrend and if it does around that 50 area our first price target would be a dollar a share so one you want to definitely keep an eye on Next on the list is OPEXA Therapeutics, OPXA. Here again, downtrend since 2014, and it's built a base for about a year now, and uh, MACDs are in its, at, at their highest level, in, and frankly, well, since certainly since middle of 2012, it's touching, it's, it's right above 50 on the weekly RSI, and should that break to the upside, we're gonna see a very strong move with probably a price target around 130 and eventually we think that this is if it breaks the upside it might retest it from the uh, from the upside but eventually we think this is going to make a run for 250 possibly as high as 5 or 750 when you definitely want to keep an eye on for out uh, for Opka Health OPK so this one broke out of a downtrend now the downtrend wasn't a long-term downtrend like we've seen with various other names on this on this uh, watch list, uh, but it did break out and now it's kind of retested here. Uh, let's see, watching to see whether the MACDs are able to cross zero. We believe they will. Look at the accumulation line for the last several months. This is a very nice accumulation despite the price dropping. Uh, the 
price was dropping since 2014, but the MACDs were, uh, not the MACDs, RSI was holding relatively strong right below this 38 to 40 level. Uh, should this break above that, there's going to be a really nice rally in store. Our first price target is around the $8, followed by a test of the 200 EMA at about $8.94. One you want to keep on your radar. OVA Science, OVAS, one of our favorites on this watch list. Why? Again, downtrend since 2015. Uh, beautiful base for, for a year. While it's been basing, it's been building very positive momentum on, on the RSI. Notice that the even though the price is lower today than it was at multiple points in, in this base pattern, RSI is at its highest level. That's definitely what you want to see. MACDs are at their highest level since early 2016. The money flow is in a positive. Stochastics are moving uh, closer to above 50. We think this downturn is going to end. And if it does, this our first target would be around $5 a share. So there's considerable upside, possibly as high as testing this 200 EMA. Uh, again, this is a longer term time frame, but definitely one you want to have on your radar. Next on the list is OWC Pharmaceutical Research Corp. This is one that we own for full disclosure. Uh, we've owned it since about 54 cents and we've been adding on, on various levels of weakness. What we like about this is this is basically a bullish flag. Uh, right above this 25 cent line, we don't have a line here, but above 25 cents, uh, this is this is one that we want to accumulate. Uh, it's got a very good fundamental story, so we've done our due diligence. It's a marijuana cannabis sector stock, so there's a lot of volatility. Uh, it's often manipulated by other uh, traders who trade the cannabis space, but this is a biotech, and they've got they've got a product coming out to market and they've got a very good management team so bottom line is do your due diligence but we like it uh, from a technical standpoint it's found support here at the 38 level which is exactly the same level where it broke out from the 0 0.003 cents uh, a share in the middle of October of last year um, this is where it broke out and our, one of our one of the strongest points of this our methodology is to find where RSI broke out last time and and likely that serves as major support, which if you draw a line from this breakout point back to where we are today, that's precisely where we are right now. Now, is it, is it guaranteed that it's gonna hold here? Absolutely not, but at around 25 cents support, uh, we found, we've rallied very nicely. And again, look at this accumulation line. So even though we've fallen from 323 all the way to 25 cents in the last several months, Accumulation is quite strong. You look at the shorter time frames, its accumulation is growing. Uh, so this, for us, presents a really good long-term opportunity as well as a short-term trade. Keep an eye on this one. Next on the list is Pacific Biosciences of California, PACB. This one is very attractive for multiple reasons. One, RSI is, is testing that 40 level and it's, it's doing so with a nice hammer pattern right below the middle Bollinger Band on the weekly, right as MACDs are starting to cross zero. So we would not be surprised if this is gonna break $4 in the coming days and weeks and, uh, and, and have a ni nice rally, certainly to test this downtrend since 2016. Uh, this has a good fundamental story behind it, but ultimately it's still in the downtrend and at this point it's just, just a trade. For us, the way we look at things is if it's below 50 on the weekly RSI, it's just a trade. It's above 50, well, it's potentially a long-term uptrend that's begun and one that you want to accumulate, uh, add on weakness, and trade on strength. Next on the list is Paranex Therapeutic Holdings, PTX. Beautiful breakout from a downtrend uh, since 2015. It broke out rallied all the way to 715 which is typical you break out from an uptrend uh it, it strong rally uh all of a sudden it shows some weakness around this 50 ema on um, and sh the short-term momentum traders jump out sure enough it falls back and tests tests this uh, downtrend from the upside tries to rally again again test this downtrend from the upside uh 
it's where it's finding support is around that 40 level on the RSI, which coincidentally, or perhaps not coincidentally, is the point of resistance several times over. Here, 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 here. I acted as support here, 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 here. Again, no surprise. RSI is very, very interesting in that regard. So if this holds, this is a very good, this is a very good uh, risk reward. I would say 250 area of, of stop loss and uh, with potential run up to $5 or as high as $10 if this snapback rally does in case take place. Uh, keep an eye on out for this one. And last on our list for today is Phoenix PFNX. It's had trouble breaking out of this 40 level on the RSI, but it's basing here and is building momentum, and we definitely like that. We see that on the up, on the swings up, the moment the the volume is high. On the swings down, the volume is low. The MACDs have broken above zero, and as often the case, when you break out above zero on the MACDs, uh, there's often a flush out sell off to shake out the weak hands and sure enough that's that's happening if if support here can hold above four dollars we can continue to build strength uh, for us a long-term buy is a trigger above five dollars and uh, ultimately a target of 12 uh, if this breakout above five occurs and is maintained so anyway there are a lot of interesting names in the biotech space use these videos for education and entertainment Make them a starting point to your research and due diligence. But uh, best of luck with all your trades. Please do follow us on StockTwits forward slash Moneyology and a Twitter at Moneyology. And please do subscribe to our videos and share them. We appreciate all your support. Have a great day.